So um, with all these attacks, anytime you attack the person's arm, right? Uh, whether it's with this one, it could be with the Kimura, a lot of times what they're gonna do is they're gonna like uh, twist your wrist and he's gonna rip out and posture up. He rips his arm away, okay? Um, anytime the, you attack the person's arm and they pull, uh, sorry, he pulls the arm out and postures up, you're immediately gonna bring your hand over the back of the leg and I wanna bring my left foot to my right knee. Right? So my left foot comes to my right knee, then I'm just gonna pull my hips into him. I'm gonna bring my knee up behind his tailbone to tilt him off his hands, right? And then bring your foot in. Right? And from here you can go right into any attack you want to lay. You can go to the heel hook. You can go straight on your and belly down. We're not gonna spend a ton of time on that finish. I just want you guys to realize that when you do the same thing, if I have a Kimura on him and he rips his arm out, I just grab here, I touch my foot to my knee, pull my hips in, turn my knees up, and then you can lock into a start attacking the legs. All right, so. It could also happen like, let's say I get all the way through. I'm in this position and he yanks his arm out here. Same thing, the leg will always be there for you if he defends his arm from that position, all right? So you can try it, you can try each one, all right? I go for a Kimura, he rips out. I go to his leg. I get that first arm bar and he rips out. Go to his leg, um, or you get all the way almost to the end where he throws his foot through and he rips his arm out. And then you get right on the boom. All right, and again, when you do this, when he pulls his arm out, your bottom hand goes right over the back of his hamstring here. Your top arm is kind of like blocking, so he's going to be coming back forward. So I'm going to put a hand under his armpit here. And my foot just goes to my knee. That's why another reason why it's important to keep the knee up high for this. The foot just tucks into my own knee. Then I get a grip on him, so I'm just hooking my fingers in, and I'm sliding my hips under him. So I pull forward, get the knees under, get your knee behind his tailbone, throw the foot over the top, and you can go for the finish. All right? One, two, three.